You're listening to Shows That Shape Me, a podcast from What's On Stage, in which we ask leading theatre makers about their most memorable productions, the show they wish they'd seen, and the person, dead or alive, that they'd most like to work with. This week's guest is Olivier Award nominee Claire Foster. Her notable stage credits include the original West End cast of Avenue Q, Maria Friedman's smash hit production of Merrily We Roll Along, Guys and Dolls at Chichester Festival Theatre, and Travesties at the Menier and in the West End, for which she was nominated for an Olivier Award. On screen, she's starred in The Crown, Sherlock, and Alan Menken's musical comedy series Gallivant. She's currently starring in the West End transfer of Nina Rain's Consent, which runs at the Harold Pinter Theatre until the 11th of August. Here is Claire Foster. It's so hard to pin down like one production that I'm sort of most proud of or that's been most memorable because so much comes into play because you have your personal life and and obviously what's creative and all of those things uh I've obviously got to say merrily we roll along um uh for so many reasons it was a really it was a because we did it over the course of really a year um a lot just happened in that part of my life um and obviously I met Damien Humbley who's my now partner uh so that's obviously huge but before even that began I remember just um I remember a distinctive moment of walking into the rehearsal room and I was doing Finding Neverland at the time so I was I'd missed the sort of first week or so of rehearsals full rehearsals and I remember walking in and Maria saying uh we're going to put you into opening doors and so she said we'll just show you what we've kind of done so far And I remember just watching these three, like, powerhouses and this this extraordinary performance and this number that I hadn't really paid that much attention to yet because of, you know, where it came in the show and all those kind of things. And and I remember just being so aware that I was going to be something in something that was really special. And I don't... It was the first time I'd ever properly experienced that because I sort of, for a brief moment, had a a sort of audience... um, perspective I guess uh yeah and it just it was just an amazing amazing experience and I'd grown up watching Maria and you know and all of those kind of things um so that's obviously a huge part of my life um but I have to mention travesties as well because that was equally special you know because uh, it was my first play in the West End um I got an Olivier nomination which is still astonishing to me and the seven of us we just were such a close bunch still and um it was just again just working with really incredible brilliant people and Patrick Marber and Tom Stoppard and you know they just it was just an extraordinary team and you know there's the, the common factor is the chocolate factory which is just a lovely lovely little special home for me uh for me my my sort of all time just wanted to watch it over and over again was beginning uh which amazingly i got to see in its last week because i couldn't get a ticket at the national um and uh and it was already on my radar because when i was doing streetcar i got a really beautiful kind note from david eldridge at the time and and it was in Bolton and I didn't think anyone was had kind of seen it, but he was really kind. And I always sort of was like, oh, that was a really nice thing for a really cool writer to kind of write something, you know, lovely. And then, uh, and then, yeah, it was on my radar and everyone was, you know, there was so much hype about it. And I managed to get a day ticket and sat in the front row. And I just, it was theatrical perfection for me. I just thought it was the most exquisite design and direction and those two performances were just incredible just in each other some chart and they were just they could it couldn't have been better i mean him in particular i just was so i was sort of mesmerized by it and like that dancing section where he kind of st- oh it's just so charming it just had my heart it really did i loved it i missed and was i remember reading it at the time it was when his dark materials was on at the national and people still talk about it now and go, God, I still think about that production, blah, blah, blah. And, and I just, I just wish I'd seen it so much. I couldn't get a ticket. I don't think it was properly, I think because of my age, I just, I don't think the National was properly on my radar, actually. And, um, which sounds incredibly stupid, but it, it wasn't. And, and I just, I just would love to have seen that. I'd love to, I'd love them to bring it back, actually. I hope they do at some point. But, um, and Aaron Maxwell Martin, who I just think is ace as well. Yeah, wish I'd seen it. National, please bring it back. Dead or alive, who would I most like to work with? Um, 
Oh God, that's just an encyclopedia of people, isn't it? I get. I, I think it will have to be Anthony Hopkins, won't it? I mean, he's just. He's a master. He's a, well. Oh, Mark Rylance. Can I have two again? Um, I think they're both utterly, utterly astonishing. Mark, I just. I just would flock to in a second for free. I'd pay to work with him. I just think he's. He's just magic, and they're both. They both just seem incredibly kind and they just have this sort of little magic behind their eyes and I just think they, the craftsmanship that goes into those choices to play with such subtlety I think is just extraordinary. I saw Jerusalem, did you see Jerusalem? You didn't see Jerusalem? He, he just, I, I've never seen a performance like it. I've never seen anyone come on stage and you just, you wanted to watch him breathe. Like, he just lived it. And he was phenomenal. I've never seen anything like it. The way that people talk about Olivier, I think, will be how they talk about Mark Rylance. Like, it was it was that astonishing presence. And, and he was sexy and heartbreaking and fierce. And just everything about him sort of sweated charisma and star quality he was phenomenal thank you for listening to shows that shaped me a podcast by what's on stage if you enjoyed listening please do subscribe on itunes so that you don't miss a single episode